I want to finish this episode with a meta-analysis by Bornstein, published in 1989 in the also very highly ranked journal Psychological Bulletin. Even though this study was conducted in 1989, there were already 134 studies that could be analyzed. Today there are even much more studies about the mere exposure effect. But already in this meta-analysis, some moderating factors could be identified. Of course, the type of stimulus is of importance. Is it a Chinese letter? Is it a picture of a person? Is it a song? Is it a simple stimulus or is it a more complex stimulus? And this factor probably interact with the second factor, which is the number of presentations. How often do you have to present the stimulus until it gets liked most? And when is it too much? When might satiation take place? It's really hard to name a concrete number because it depends on so many factors. But Bornstein found on average that after about 21 presentations, the liking for the stimulus declines. Very interesting is the next factor, which is the presentation time. How long do you have to present the stimuli what is the perfect presentation time to achieve a huge mere exposure effect? Of course, again, this depends on many other factors. For example, is there accidental processing or is it focused processing? But on average, it seems like short presentation times are very effective because the mere exposure effect is stronger the less aware we are of the stimuli. Think back to the music study of Spooner and colleagues. When the listening to the music was incidental, there was a clear mere exposure effect. So if we see the stimulus and we have to judge, well, I like this or I don't like it, it's of importance whether we remember seeing the stimulus before. And the effect is stronger if we don't remember having seen the stimulus. That's it for today. Next episode we will cover how this mere exposure effect is used in advertising. I mean, think about it. The effect says the more often you see something, the, the more you will like it. Of course, advertisers try to use this effect and we will take a look at how they try to do it. Keyword product placement.